My name is William, William Alfonso. I was born in Goa in India. We were looking uh, for ways to move out to the West. And at that time, uh, we were doing a lot of research as to which would be the best place for us. And while we were doing our research, we stumbled on the website and we found out that uh, Canada was named the best country to live in for the third consecutive year. So I said, hey, Canada is a place we need to be. Uh, in the winter, usually what happens, all the leaves fall off, so you'll just see dry twigs. But the amazing thing in winter, what happens is, when you have the snow that falls, um, sometimes it melts, and then it turns little icicles on all the twigs, and it's like a little glass land, you know. It's, it's amazing. This is my company, United Air Express, International Courier, uh, which I run along with my wife, Judy. Uh, we come to work here every day, every day of the week, sometimes even weekends. Basically, what, what we built in our mind is, if we are going to a new country, we have to accept changes, irrespective of where you are going. It has to Hi, fit the How place in the country that you are going to. So we changed. Hey. When we came here, um, initially I tried uh, looking for jobs in the purchasing field because I had experience in that. Uh, I tried looking for jobs in the sales field as well because I had, uh, I had experience in that. It is very important to do a lot of research uh, when you're planning to immigrate to Canada, especially on your job and the position that you're going to hold. We did a lot of research on the purchasing management, all the different agencies involved, uh, the different uh, logistics companies, and all that put together has helped us in our business right now. I, I always tell people, when you're looking for a job, it's in a job in itself, because it's a full-time job. All day you're sitting on the computer looking for jobs. At the same time, what we did was we were mixing and, uh, you know, uh, mingling with the community, with friends and things like that. And it just so happened that uh, I happened to be at a party where a friend of mine was there. His brother-in-law owned a business who needed somebody to take care of his business. And it was at the right place at the right time. Excellent. When you're new to a country, your mind is in, in, in two, uh, two sort of sets. One is... Oh, you know, I, I left my family back home. I left a whole bunch of friends, so you're upset because of that. Two, you're trying to look for a job. You know, it's not an easy process. It takes time, no doubt about it, for the right job to come into place. And you're worried about trying to get a job and how you're going to adjust. So you're already, you know, your mind is already in two sides. We checked jobs online, jobs available in Canada. We even applied for jobs while we were still outside the country, just to make sure and see what responses we get. And that helped a lot, especially at the uh, interview at the uh, Canadian High Commission when we were being interviewed. The officer asked, what else do you have in that file? And when I showed it, it really portrayed our seriousness in trying to immigrate to Canada. And the officer said, oh, so you're really serious to immigrate? And I said, yes. Uh, Nowadays, you know, the, uh, the world is so small in terms of Internet. So basically what we did was we just went on the Internet, we Googled, we searched about Canada, life in Canada, uh, the different communities in Canada, and we found that, uh, you know, among all the provinces in Canada, we found Ontario, especially Toronto, uh, was the most multicultural place. And we said, well, you know, there are people from all over the world, different parts of the world, and we said, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> This is where we do all our shopping, all the Indian groceries. You know, there are lots of Indians in Toronto. Look at this. This is for the Diwali festival. They have everything available. There are Hindi movies on the other side, little Bollywood. All the lentils. We didn't know anybody in Canada. We were going to be completely new. In fact, uh, uh, when you're a new country, there are a lot of challenges. You have to try and mix around with the community. You have to find out who your community is and what it is about. And it's not just only... When you, when you talk about a community, it's not just people from your country or your culture. We are talking of community in a whole. Where you live, there are different people, different cultures, different nationalities. Mix around with them and, you know, 
That is one of the challenges. In my neighborhood, we have this library which is very close to us, where we come and we do our research. And any time if we are bored, we come, we borrow books, borrow Hindi movies, which are freely available. You can just take home, watch, and pass your time. We also have a Catholic church which is close by, where we come to worship. There are also churches of different denominations around the neighborhood. Also, my daughter's school is close to where we live. Of course, this is the Catholic school which falls under the Catholic district board. And we also have the public district board, uh, which is a secular uh, board and which is open to uh, all students. Uh, there are also other religious-based schools such as the Islamic school. So you could send, to, uh, send your children to any of these schools. You're going to walk to school or you're going to take the bike? Once we landed into Canada, at that time the, the rules and regulations were different than they are now today. Uh, at that time we had to make sure that we were in the country at least three years before we even applied for our citizenship. Uh, we did the research, we got all the forms from the websites. Uh, the citizenship and immigration website is uh, very easy to navigate. The forms are available. We downloaded the forms, we filled the forms ourselves. Uh, of course, we did have to get uh, you know somebody to uh, stand guarantee for us, so we had a family doctor you know to sign for it, uh, just saying that he knew us. We had a parish priest, and then we just you know filled in the application, sent it to Sydney, Nova Scotia, and within a few months, they said, "Okay, you are ready for your test." If I had a second chance to think of emigrating anywhere in the world, um, most definitely I would still choose Canada.